Hello everyone and welcome back to the epic world of PC gaming. My name is Mikey B and this is the Pompeii campaign for Total War Rome 2. And in the previous episode we were checking out the auxiliary camp um, and what benefits it actually gives us. And the next upgrade would be auxiliary cavalry from this thing. So let's have a look if we can find them. Oh, there they are straight away. Auxiliary cavalry. Uh really good attack holy shit uh, weapon damage is the same as our cavalry at the minute they've got good health and base morale is quite high let's have a look at what we've got at the minute yeah they're, they're just generally a different variant of cavalry that are pretty damn strong yeah that's pretty good yeah we'll, we'll I think it's worth it upgrading to a camp for three food we could have a another what if we went totally cavalry centric I know that turned out piss poor last Ready time in my battle. Sparta campaign but maybe the Roman cavalry is a lot better that would totally change it though, wouldn't it because Rome focused on heavy infantry right let's enter it feels like I'm playing Civ early on in Rome 2 sometimes because I end turn quite a lot so I build up the infrastructure I don't know I keep saying that but yeah that's what I do I build up the infrastructure early game mid game that's when I take the fight to them and I like the min max in it's called of the economy in the early game so that it yeah pays off dividends in the late game it's generally how I play most of my games to be honest I like doing the preparation early on so that you can just play the shit out of it when it's you know when it pays off um, right household expands okay let's uh, send that to pool at the minute construction complete good and a faction rises goal okay right Let's have a look what we can do over here. Military wharf. Oh shit, that's expensive. Damn. Alright, let's not focus on any of that stuff at the minute. Let's get the capital up and running. Minus four food, minus four food, and this one would let us upgrade it to a... 150 wealth from manufacturing okay let's do this one since it doesn't actually give us any downsides it just costs a ton of money um, and we are working on the economy so we invest early on and late game it pays off so let's go again damn forgot to send my spy further so she only took like two steps shit because I want to find where the armies are Octavian will be leading an army somewhere. Don't know where though. So we've got to find him. And it looks like was Anthony Mark Anthony being blockaded then, or was it reverse? He was blockading someone else. I don't know. Let's have a look. Right, battering ram. Knock knock. Look. Mission issued, siege craft. Okay, let's have a look. Senate lords, your efforts to advance Mo Rome's military potential, but feels that we would benefit from the further development of siege craft techniques. Research a technology in the following category, siege. We've got 12 turns remaining. And it says, your mastery, the reward will be your mastery of siege craft is reducing the cost of building siege engines engines and field artillery okay I don't know if I'll have siege artillery at the minute though um, let's have a look at something else boiling oil enables settlement gates to pour boiling oil in all regions enables the building of a town blacksmith uh, ammunition stores plus 25% ammunition for units during siege defense battles plus 20% shots per turn for all siege units and it enables the building of a town shield maker I like the shield maker and the fact we get 25% more ammo 
So let's go with that one. And we should get that benefit next turn. Our auxiliary camp has been built. Good. So we've got diverse amount of... Like, we can recruit quite a diverse army over here, then. And I believe that means we've got quite a strong garrison. We've got ten. We don't have any walls, though. Hmm. Right. Okay. Let's have a look at where else we can upgrade. We've got three turns, four turns for all the upgrades to happen. And we've got... Roughly, oh, it's going to take ages. It's like 20 turns in it f before we can upgrade Carolus. Hmm. Let's have a look diplomatically. What can we do? Namidia is neutral. Lepidus is at war with Rome and Pontus. And let's have a look at Mark Antony, who's he at war with? He's at Lepidus, and yeah, and Octavian, he's at war with a shitload of people as well. And funnily enough, as Pompey, we're not actually at, r at war with anyone, so hmm, it's pretty uh, nifty because they have their economies being tanked by war while we just sit back and wait for the opportunity or not wait for the opportunity, um, build up our opportunity I guess because <laughs> I'm gonna hopefully get a really strong legion the Magnus legion together and we'll invade Italy come on hurry up I wish it would end turn quicker it make the it'd make it so much quicker in general come on Parthia it's hanging on Parthia Come on, Thrace. Shift it. Right, there we go. Political intrigue. An other house has secured a promotion. Shit. Let's have a look. They have 50% influence now. Damn it. Hmm. What does bribing do? Bribe this character to bring him over to your party. The target character will lose gravitas if he accepts. Hmm. Can't bribe this dude because he's the leader of the family. Yeah, okay. Um, don't want to assassinate him because that would make it totally lopsided. Um, we could spread rumours about the leader to lower his influence. Hmm. Let's actually have a look at the political house. Yeah, we own less than half shit okay let's try and spread some rumors about him blackmail attempt Pompey consequences reputation has been tarnished by the rumors that you that has been spread okay wait a minute his reputation was tarnished and he gained more influence wait what how the... what? How does that work? He got a promotion and then blackmail attempt. Okay, did it work? It worked? It doesn't say it failed. Hmm. Okay. I thought his influence would be less now. Mine was... L mine... Oh, I get it. I know what just happened. Yeah, shit. I wish I'd have paid attention to this more. Um, it cost me six senator to support. So that's why he gained more influence because of it. Shit. Okay. I need to bear that in mind next time. So, yeah. It was because he had support. No, yeah, six senators, I think it said, were going to leave if I did that, as, as a cost kind of thing, which is why it got lopsided. So, yeah, let's play it easy for now, even though we're at 46% influence, it's still pretty good, we don't hold the majority, but we hold the power, really. 
subject gains notoriety a bad omen again right it's been found guilty of okay whoa he'll, whoa shit he was flogged to death what should be done uh shit Hmm. I don't know what to say here. This is a weird one. Damn. Let's. Don't want to kill because that's kind of extreme, isn't it? In prison, that's kind of pointless as well. I don't know. What if you just let it go? Shit. Decisions. Let's go. Let it go. Didn't think she did anything genuinely wrong there. But yeah, whatever. Let's. I probably picked the wrong decision and it'll shit all over my empire. <laughs> so, yeah. Right. Octavian's room, Anthony's room. Hurry up, Anthony. Tony? Yeah, it would be Mark Tony. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, Egypt. Parthia, hurry up. And then soup. I wish the end turns ended faster, please. <laughs> right. Research complete. What use what use is the mightiest engine when there is nothing to fling at the enemy but insults? Good, so we sh Yay, mission successful. The Senate lo lords your efforts to advance. Okay. Thought we just Left to one to the streets with no money, the woman soon turned to the only profession open to her. Okay. And that didn't affect me in any way. Good. I don't think. Unless it's going to in the future. Holy shit. Foreshadowing. Maybe. Right. Wait, have we got another mission? Is that what just got issued to us now? Um... Ultimate objective, chapter object. No, it's not that we want. Um, it's just wasn't actually going to click that. I misclicked, but oh, Egypt popped up. Let's see if these guys want to trade. Be welcome here and speak as you wish without. Oh well, my. It would have been mutually beneficial, but whatever. <laughs> right, uh, technology. And it says about let's do more siege things. Minus one hundred percent attritional losses when under siege. That would be a really handy one because I'd imagine the counterattack from Rome is going to be quite severe. Um, but then again, boiling oil is cool. I've never actually seen it in use properly before though. I don't think. Uh, let's go with the central grain warehouse. That's actually a really good one. Plus three siege holdout time. Yeah, let's do that. And let's have a look at somewhere else that we can upgrade, possibly. Commander. In fact, let's remove these and get some better infantry. Right, here we are. We've got Auxiliary Cavalry. Holy shit. They're quite significantly better. Uh, but anyway, we're here to get um, infantry this time. Um, is it worth getting first cohorts? They're significantly more expensive. They have less health. They have more melee defense. 
They have better armor. These guys have a better charging bonus. I'm going to stick with legionaries for the time being. Are you ready to serve They're better on? per cost. Right, so we've got, we're going to have six. So let's recruit that. So we're going to have uh, four. So it'll be seven legions. Okay, so there's five. Yeah, there's eight now. There would be eight legions, which leads us with 15, five slots remaining. So we could go with a spear unit, a couple of auxiliary infantry, like uh, or a few, like let's get three of them. Or, because we're going to have... Hmm. What should be the thing here? Because we've got lots of cavalry that's really good. We're going to have strong, heavy infantry, and should really protect the flanks with auxiliaries or oh wait I just realized we can scroll down and get war dogs holy shit we could fill the rest of the ranks up with war dogs now that would be interesting um, but poor puppies <laughs> sending pups out I don't know they're pretty vicious though so like wolves and shit um, eight legions. Do you want to round that up to ten, and then the rest war dogs? Or get five packs of war dogs? Shit. Let's do that. Yay! So we got a huge army. I don't know how. That's probably going to really affect the income. So it's going to be five hundred roughly, and then that's going to be. Another 500. So we're going to have less than a thousand income per turn, I'd, I'd say. After the end of this. So let's keep going. At least we'll have a full stack. And then I can make a move to attack Rome. Is that too risky, though? Only having one army and deciding to attack. I don't know. Shit. Decisions. Decisions. Can't decide. I suppose I could get a little army. Or I could literally execute on that plan. And just walk past everywhere and take Rome, the capital. And then have a, a smaller army or fleet or something that I can combine and do an amphibious attack possibly. I don't know. It's just bullshit at the minute. Anyway... Rome's military is unmatched. Our veterans are the envy of the civilized world. Use their prowess against our enemies. Objectives recruit a champion. Oh, yeah, shit. Why didn't I, I forgot about that? I should have had a champion Ready sitting on this orders. army this whole time. God damn. Forgot about it. We need I should have had a champion. Shit, how did I forget? Damn it. Because a champion sitting on this army would have helped so much. Right, this guy has a plus 10% unit experience. And this guy has plus 20 unit experience gained per turn. Let's go with this dude and recruit him. I am Rome's champion. Okay, military skill. Alright, that's good. And then we'll attach him to this army. This and that'll be madness. that. Okay, yeah, right. I think we just burnt through all our money, and the next level of buildings are pretty much expensive Ready as hell. For battle. Right, so the next turn, we should have a ton of soldiers and a, an army ready to go. Like, ready to get into action. I'm going to keep exploring Italy with that spy a minute to see how close a legion is. Because I can't remember whether you can actually walk into enemy territory without declaring war. But I might just walk through Italy, sit the army outside Rome and then just declare war and invade straight away. Or I could do an amphibious attack and just attack Rome directly without having to walk through Italy using transport ships but that's seriously risky 
Anyway, let's attach this army. This guy to the army and uh, military training. Yo, stop that slut. Ready for orders. Right. So I'm going to split the part here. And thank you very much to anyone that's watching. Uh, this is about to get really interesting. Uh, I think that is my plan. It's going to be all out. Now, I've only got one army, so it's kind of a really silly gamble, possibly. Um, or I could start working on a little army at home, and then... Yeah, that's what we'll do. March up through Italy, hit Rome, where it hurts, in the capital. Look at that income per turn. I believe that's how it works, anyway. Anyway, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Um, bye bye.